What's up guys, this is the Braverman and I am back to bring the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to run off where we left off, we have sallied forth our Paris garrison, which has been reinforced from a general and troops from London, to engage this Russian stack which looked like it was on its way to lay siege to Paris. The idea would be to push this army back to Switzerland and then with Charles Colville and William de Dornberg to capture that city behind our lines. Let us attack. Redeploy my armies to go and support the capture of Moscow because that's my ultimate target for this campaign, I think. Oh, poor weather. So let's have a look. Okay, here's a very tempting target for the artillery. It's a long way. could be worthwhile doing with the majority of our guns. So I want to push up to this hill, deploy my troops along this, weather, this line. Powder makes a Maybe deploy one lone gun team here to provide some level of fire support. And it also means that I will have to deploy Okay, so let's assume... Well, actually, that means we'll probably effectively get to deploy... Yes, deploy in one big line. Skirmish is on this flank. Supported by the 15th Light Horse. Let's turn off fire well. So this is a unique unit, which we haven't seen before. Look pretty darn good. Then actually, let's give the 15th Light Horse a backup of Dragoon Guards. No, yep, just Horse Guards, Dragoons. A unit of Light Horse on the left help skirt the the um, artillery. Howard is in the centre, James Colville in the centre. Okay. So let's. Let's get deploying. So ideally I'd like something like this that covers both sets of artillery. I do have to be concerned that one is the 95th. No, they're both just rifles. I am concerned to a degree that there may be a they may push up. Um, but I think, I mean, we will be in very close gun range, but realistically there's nowhere else that's anywhere close to being useful to deploy my artillery. So let's speed up time. At the very least, this gun team will be in a position to provide some useful fire support. Let's make sure our, both of our... Okay, it's still showing the range ring, even though I've got firewall turned off. That spooked me for a minute. So they've started engaging. They've got not got any hits yet, although I'd be intrigued to know who it is there, this unit. Ah, so we have lost some men from this unit. They've no, they haven't taken their hits stoically in the true manner of a British soldier. Oh yeah, so my general move up. So this gun team's going to be in position soon. So they can at least provide some support. Um, considering I'm effectively marching my marching my light infantry into a position from which they can be engaged, so I'm probably going to want to okay run them now because the Russians are on the hoof. They will be caught out. Bring up the cavalry just to spook them into if they want to form any defensive positions. Yep, so they've immediately realised that they've got a problem. They need to form light rank because they're about this unit's about to get obliterated. My artillery is engaging. Hit their cavalry. Let 
Okay, oops, they are engaging us. We are engaging them. However, we will beat them and beat their firepower. Let's move our cover up to the line of the woods. Okay, I'm not quite sure what to do about this cavalry unit because they seem quite content to just let me shoot at them. So let's move our cavalry up. They do have large units of infantry and I'm intrigued if... I'm sure they'll have the three rank limit for fire by rank. Yep, it is. Still in place. Good. Let's retreat them back into line. Oh no, no, not line. Oh no, not square either. Oh, come on. So let's pivot. Come on, show me your... There you go. Commit my cavalry. They are outnumbered and they will suffer from an amount of lack of support. However, they are dragoons and their dragoons are cavalry's pretty darn good in this game. Let's run the cavalry back, and it's run the run my uh, rifles back, and instead throw the cavalry in. Let's put the rifles somewhere more out here. Let's also do a bit of bayonet charging. And limber all of these guns. Advance our line in a big way. This cavalry troop is looking a bit overwhelmed. All of my guns are unlimbered. So we're not going to maximise our firepower. All of my guns. Barrage the centre. this one firing unit instead focus on the center sorry wrong button press there let's run the cavalry straight on the generals out there You snipe those dragoons, this unit snipe the general. Ah, rifles, they're all out to get you. Keep my cavalry going. It's damn near a complete route. Let's get these chaps to sit behind. The general's dead. General staff is going to charge in. Halt skirmishes fire. So I'm gonna fire my Ooh. Okay, this this is gonna be a big gamble. I'm gonna lose lose people from my general. 
Rally! Inspire! Halt my artillery fire. Good. They are going to get them. Oh god! That was a close one. All of you engage this unit of musketeers that sat here. Our men are running, sir. Oh, there's my light dragoons. Yep, yeah, it's understandable. Storm up into their faces. Let's risk a volley from my rifles into the cavalry combat. So I would like the light horse to waver so I can chase down some of these guys. Even then, that's not. Very doable. Because they are returning from combat. So let's halt my artillery fire because it's right now bombarding friendlies. Same with my lone gun team. Let's move the rifles up to skirmish the enemy that are remaining. Aha, they do have a use. Excellent. And let's bring my let's just bring my regular line. Up here, my general. Let's get him over here. Let's get some blood on those boots. Fire out with both my rifles. They're already shaken, so move my cavalry up into a position ready to respond. Let's get my general over here. Get the dragoons out. Of the, get my rifles out of the way, so I can run my dragoons in. They have returned, but absolutely continue. So you charge into them. You charge into them. Everyone else, stop firing. figure out the best place to charge my general is but I doubt there's actually that much of a best place these days let's just let let my cavalry join the slaughter so run them off and then charge back in again mm, got a handful which my hussars back here aren't aren't even charging anyone. So these guys are going to successfully rout. As well as those which my general is trying to kill. However, oh well, no, maybe not. Because <laughs> now I've got four units, well three squadrons of cavalry and my general's staff are after them. Although the, the men are fatigued, so I don't give a damn. Just those two remaining. Just the one. <laughs> Excellent. Lovely melee of swords right there. Also waiting to prevent them to, from crossing the river towards uh, Munich. Oh, that's a very comprehensive loss. Okay, let's send... Oh no, not you. Yes. Okay, it's going to be a light infantry modifier. Can't 
can't send my cav I can't send much of my cavalry to chase them down. That's too much of a gamble. Um, just use the entire army to continue the chase. They will probably just raid, and that will be frustrating. But raids can be managed. Do you make sure apparently you're being taxed. You are good. And here's the Portuguese. Do the Portuguese hate me? No, not really. Well, minus forty overall. Um, it might be a good idea to just keep some guys in Paris. Good. Then on the e over on the, over towards the east, so I've got. This force bearing down on me, which I cannot really reinforce, but fortunately, hopefully the Belgians might be able to get them off. Well, not get them off, see them off. I could move... Hmm. So they could go on a straight run to Stuttgart. It's currently undefended. Which is what would make sense, I think, for them to do. Which, if they do that, then I'll probably siege them with the garrison from Strasbourg. But it really depends on what route Mr. Colville decides to go. Because I'd like to bring him up here, box in the zone, and destroy it. Um, and where else were we? Marching onwards. Oh, yeah. Devastation by armies is very upsetting. You are going to march straightwards, straight onwards into Belgrade. Siege them for now. Then let's take George Thomas Brerisford. Oh, God alive. This is going to be a... You are very knackered. So we may have to do... some shifting about just to keep... our main units supplied. And at least it gives us an opportunity to bring in more of our reinforcements in immediately. Now let's try. Let's do that. Let's, it's going to bring that experience level down. Yeah, it is. So now this army is really small, but considering we have lost Ernest Augustus, come on in. Come on, take it away, Ernie. But he can't siege, but what he can do is effectively give the guts of his army to them to, Bre to Brerisford's force but the dead cavalry can come yes, back out to keep the highlanders together into this army and then let's also bring in to be honest I want to bring in my marines because they're quite elite too ok let's pull out ok it's more or less going to be a complete and utter army swap Oh no, okay, so one. Marines, Highlanders, and a unit of Grenadiers could take over Barris' force. Ooh, one more army. The next unit of Grenadiers. I wouldn't be surprised if that's a complete <laughs> swap. Um, but there we go. Now, Barrisford, I could wait and withstand a siege, but instead, let us attack. Let's get revenge on these Austrian personal favourite generals. I mean, Grant, he was an absolute bagger, apparently, to, uh, to have as your commanding officer. Like, he worked you hard, but apparently apparently it worked, because the light division in the Peninsula War was rather useful and very effective on the march. Ooh, okay. So I want to put two units of guns here to move up to the path here. And I would like to do the same on this flank, taking advantage of the highways. So we've got our elite Highlanders, probably Grenadiers as well in the centre. Oh no, not needed. Let's put our regular Highlanders in the centre. Still might be too many, but I think it would be quite a solid centre position. God, this Union of Marines is 
pretty darn good. Let's get marines and two units. Let's get the marines and two units of foot to protect the right flank. And then let's pick the Black Watch, two units of Grandiers, and a regiment of foot to protect the left. Uxbridge takes the position on the left. Howard still go up the centre. General staff with them. Okay, now, oh, that's one thing I did forget about. Is are the... Okay, the reinforcements aren't going to completely screw us. So our general plan remains intact. The only real change will be this army will instead form more of a for more of a shape like this. I'm going to stand my cavalry up further as well. Ooh, my infantry deployment didn't quite go so, so well, so let's move my artillery over somewhat. And then this flank, which is very strong, push up in a manner which will cause them some concern. Or run more accurately. I don't even need to move my houses up very far. So the cavalry's on this flank, but it's it's a shadow of their former selves. You need to be positioned just a bit differently. Okay. Okay, hold on. I'm sure I touch walk. I mean, my cavalry can't change, but I'm sure they had more reinforcements than that. But I suppose they can't get them on the field. Come on, the Chevalier. Do you fancy it? Unlimber my howitzers. Let's get my general up in position. So let's keep this flank here just in case more reinforcements do come on, but let's move up Axbridge into a more offensive position. And then our Highland foot with 44 accuracy are going to start to fire onto the Cheval Leger. And the 98th. Howitzers are in. Oh, this poor unit. Mm -hmm. Let's cause you to run. run into position because now our guns um, can be more deployed like this I mean they're gonna get a charge on oh, okay all okay you guys do square you guys carry on you guys carry on Target fire with you. All my guns are limber with canister. No reinforcements are on the field yet. So we're taking pot shots at these. It's Austrian cavalry. So let's just run up into their grill. You guys can move around a bit more of a flank. My other artillery and limber firing round shot. Glorious victory, sir. It's soon to be yours. Well, General's trying to uh, inspire his men. However, I'm afraid they're not going to get out of the way from this drubbing. Here comes the reinforcements. Full strength unit of Chevalier. 
Go on, Axbridge. Give him back for Black Bob Crawford. Oh, the 22nd Regiment of Foot. Fired upon from all directions. Excellent stuff. Position them something more like that for when more reinforcements come in. Push up three units up towards where the reinforcements will come on from, and let's bring Uxbridge back to go and engage the. Come on, are they gonna charge our guns? They have, they have charged our guns, but they've immediately broken. Oh, gunners just. <laughs> they've even got some, given some sport to my general. Good lads, this flank has fallen. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! I'm sure he is. No, pick up your guns again. You guys limber up. Their cavalry is chasing down our cavalry. But it's about to have a bit of a surprise. Halt. Plenty of... plenty of everything. So let's bring two of you on around this flank. Let's bring two of you more like here. Doing lots of running with my troops. Okay, Uxbridge, go smash into this unit. Of Actually, no, don't. Just chase out, chase off the the devils that are there. Call them grenadiers. That's my super elite unit of fusiliers. Nope, oh, they're bringing up the rear. Engage my Highlanders in melee. Support them with my Marines. Chasing down the Union Fuselers still. Land there have routed. Go right up into their face. Stop the howitzers from shooting at all. Everyone else can just form up as reserves. Not that they'll be needed. It's been the Swiss line. Uh, go on, chase after them then. No, come over here. It's too tempting. Militia, German fusiliers, you'll do. Smash into the land of errors there, right there. Come on. I was going to say run into them, at least. 
charge straight into this unit of light foot. There is a square formation that holds strong. For now. Let's just get Axbridge out of the way so he doesn't have any uh, any uh, improper losses. Okay, now have them. Everyone in. Axbridge on the flank. <laughs> Charged. With all these hundreds of angry Scots and English and Welsh. Look at the number four. Poor souls. Some, yeah, they will escape. That was not close. No way in hell was that close. Clemens have before us. Please liberate it. Please be able to liberate. Yes, the Kingdom of Hungary. Liberate. My concern is when it comes to objectives, 15 more regions. I want to conquer Moscow. As you can see, that's already one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we just go straight from Moscow, but it also provides us with some Hungarian troops. And also, we're going to carve out a bit of a Hungarian empire because they're also going to get a few other territories that I don't really want, such as you. Just auto resolve that because that's not not a good decent battle. So we're going to liberate to Wallachia Klausenberg. What I want to do is Kingdom of Hungary open offer region Galicia. It is Galicia I want to give them, isn't it? Well, it's described as I'm sure it's Galicia I'm after. I want to give. No! Oh, I've given them the wrong darn one. Oh well, Lemberg doesn't matter. This whole area I want to become them anyway. So I can't give them Transylvania. Hungry, hungry, hungry. So I can't do that. I am a boob. But still, it gives us friendly ports where we can move up. It also means we don't have to look after their invest their look after their uh, their territories. So let's keep moving up our spies, which I've not done. Keep upgrading. Spies, spies, spies. We are trapped, so you can't go anywhere. You don't need to spy anymore, because you are hungry. I'm sure I sent one on a long walk to Moscow, but I'll send one now. It's late September, so you better get his socks on. Yes. So you're replenishing. Wellesley's replenishing. I think everything that can be, or largely, that, actually, let's not do that if they're going to take Stuttgart. Okay, uh, the artillery's going to do a long walk from here, is it? Yep. Fair enough. He will take his position on the border. Okay, our research and tech looks pretty good. I've not got any spare unis. Still positive in terms of cash. Still good armies I can recruit, but it's not... I mean, I've got the Coldstream Guards on the go, but I've not really got a... Oh, the Life Guards would be cool. Don't I already don't I also have the... Have they been recruited? Horse guards, they've been recruited. Cool. New nation rises, not for long. Um, I want to get rid of them. I can 
get rid of the fencibles because I'm not interested. Let's also move the spy onwards to Kiev. And that also means James English Hamilton get to the this bottleneck and hit Bucharest. We'll also have to take out the Greeks, probably with Alexander Abercrombie, who can now south take Greece, take Istanbul. To be honest, Hungary might become a hell of a massive kingdom. Might give them all of the Balkans, because I really just want Moscow. Cool, James English Hamilton's got some good traits, which is important. Let's hit end turn. Oh yeah, that army's back after defending Norway. So soon I'll... I, actually, I might just march that army on, onwards to Stockholm. Peace with Prussia. Can I make them? I can't make them. Eh? Break your alliance with everyone. No, I'm going to destroy the Prussians. And I just, I just remembered, I'm going to destroy the Prussians. And oh, oh, an ambush battle. We are weakened, but it is ambush. Got lots of grenadiers though, but we do get the reinforcements from the from Corland involved. Well, we're definitely going to fight it. And looking at the timer, that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time where we can hopefully chop up a column of Russians. Cheers, guys.